Hey, this is Scott Schulte from WordPress Freestyle. And today I wanted to talk about a client request that I had the other day. So, I had a client who wanted me to create an ad on Facebook that drove traffic to his squeeze page where the potential application applicant could either call the HR person directly with a phone number or they could do an online application and they were wondering if I could create an online online application um, and attach it to my site so everything's hosted on a job site that I have and I've never done that before so I wasn't sure that I could but I found a way for it to work and so I'm going to share that with you so if we Go over to my side over here. Um, I'm not going to go over the squeeze page. Um, I do squeeze pages with a paid plugin. Uh, that's really cool, but that's for another video. Um, so, first thing we're going to do is go to plugin, add new plugin, and then go to Caldera Forms. And hit enter. And like I've said in other videos, it says that this is compatible with your version of WordPress. It's got all these really good ratings and stuff, so uh, it's a really good thing. I was really happy with what I created. So let's go ahead and activate it. And you can play with it a little bit yourself um, but this is really super easy to use so you click on Caldera Forms here off in the left and then from there you want a new form and then here you can name it whatever you want so I used it or I named it application online application for employment starter contact form is what I used create form and so what it does and it's showing you here is you take that element if you want to add elements and you just take this and you drag it down uh, so that's super easy to use so we'll just dismiss that um, but how this works is um, you, you just go like this you click the pen here off to the right brings over the information over here and so what you want here shows up right here so what I did was like I said let's learn right here let's do this apply here and then here put let's learn a little more about you okay then hit update form then it changes on here see and then this was kind of neat it took me a little bit to figure this out so if you want like just two you just go like this and then that has them stacked on I liked how that looked stacked like that and then so you can update it 
and then you can preview it. So that says application apply here. Let's learn a little more about you. Okay. Still not exactly what I was looking for. So I'll show you what else we did. I actually. Kept it how it was. Uh, so I don't know if I can do this again. Bring it up here. I might have messed it up. Okay. Just want to remove all the fields in a row. Okay. So, then what we do, if you mess it all up, as you add it, you just start over again. So, you gotta find a place where that mark is before you can move it up. Okay, so I'm gonna move it up the page here. Gotta get to where there's the four mark thing. Okay. Okay, I don't want this, so I'm going to take this out. Okay, and then to just add elements, you just go like this, add element. And then you go single line text, select an element. And you come over here and the name of it, name, first name and then you want it required update form add element did you see what I did there I'll show you again okay last name and required update okay now if I wanted to go three again I would just hit this again but I'm not going to I'm going to drag another thing so I create another thing thingy dingy Then here, I add an element, single line text, set element, name, city, required, set element. Okay. I want to add one more here. That's click on that, bring it up. And an element. Um, 
phone number. Phone number. Required. And then add an email on it. Single line text. Name. Best time to call. Required. And with these, you can put whatever you want. So whatever information you're looking for. And then I'm clicking required because I want the applicant to fill in all these things. Okay, so click update form and then preview. So now it looks like this. Application, apply here. Let's learn a little more about you. Put in your first name, last name, city, state, phone number, and best time to call. That's all they're looking for. The In our particular situation here, we're just trying to get as many people as we can to, to take a hit on this. So the least amount of stuff to fill out, the better results we're going to get. So I was happy with that, but these are all required and I don't really need them to ask me a question if they really don't need to. So I'm going to go back to the contact form. I'm going to click on the pencil by comments and questions and I'm going to unclick required. Hit the update form and then preview the form. And now I have a small application ready to go. Now here's what you do. It's just a short code is what it is. So you just go to a page, uh, add a new page. And so like I had online application. Okay. And then click on the form, pick the application and insert now hit publish and view page and then look at there it's all ready to go hope you enjoyed the video you have any questions comments or concerns Leave it in the comment section and make sure you hit subscribe so that you get every video that I put out. Thank you.